Hi guys, Brooke here and welcome back to my channel. In this episode today guys, Dennis and I head out to the 36ers off the Gold Coast. Now it is the middle of summer and everyone else is out chasing big pelagics, which isn't really my thing. So we decided to go bottom bouncing. But on this particular day, the current was absolutely raging. So that was the challenge, getting our baits down to the bottom and actually catching some fish. Now it had been a really slow day to start with, so the cameras weren't rolling at the time of the hookup. But that's why I'm doing this little intro for you. So I hope you enjoy this video guys, and I'll see you at the end. Whatever it is, it's on the screen. Did you film the screen? Get it like a wide shot of yeah. So you might have noticed on the sounder that we're fishing in around about 66 metres of water. At the oh, time I was using a Pat Noster rig with two 7 circle hooks and a large sinker on it to keep it down near the bottom. I noticed a large arch on the sounder that was about 10 metres off the bottom at the time. So I ended up winding my bait up about that 10 metres and I ended up hooking that one arch on the sounder, which happened to be this fish that I pull up. I was using 30 pound braid and 60 pound leader in this situation. Now, once I hooked up, I knew that I had to get the fish off the bottom as soon as I could, just in case it was a kingfish and it wanted to reef me. So I had my hand on the spool, but I didn't want to tighten up too hard just in case that braid snapped. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's back there. I'm guessing big snapper. Better be a big snapper. I need some dinner. I'm gonna see color. Oh, it looks like a big snapper, Dennis. Doesn't look like a snapper to me. Oh, it's a big pearly. No, it's a snapper. It's a snapper. It's pearly. pearly. Yeah, me. Yeah, I've got a little bit out. Holy moly moly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, you have no idea. That is freaking huge. Holy. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, That's, I have no words for that. That is a big pearl perch. Okay. Wow, that's a big fish. That is so cool. It's the mother of all pearl perch. Dude, that is massive. That is the biggest pearl perch I've ever seen, especially in real life. That's, I, I don't know my weights, but that's gonna be, oh, oh guessing, gotta be bigger than three kilos, it's gonna be six. Anyway, we were dropping some baits down to the bottom today and I was totally not expecting this because the current is just raging out here at the moment, so had a little bite and um, yeah, it was this guy. Very proud of that. Very cool. This one's going to go back though. Can't keep it, it's too big. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Pearl fish. perch are most commonly caught around the 38 centimeter legal size limit, although they can grow up to around the 70 centimeter. They prefer warmer tropical waters around the 30 to 90 meter mark. They like reefs, gravel patches, steep coral 64. rock rocks, pinnacles and even wrecks. 
but after talking to a few mates since this catch, I've been informed that they can actually grow up to around the 80 centimetre mark in deeper waters like 130 metres off the Gold Coast here, which is pretty amazing. Studies from DAF Queensland show that fish around the 70 centimetre mark can be around the 16 to 20 years old, which is why I wanted to let this fish go so that it can keep breeding. So I wanted to get a quick photo and a bikini for you guys, but I'm letting this one go today, so come over here and let's let him go. Yes. Been swimming it, so should be fine to go back straight away. There he goes, back to the depths. What a monster, that was so cool. Now we actually drove over the top of this rope and I was a little bit concerned about leaving it in the water because it might get tangled up in someone else's prop. But once we had a closer look and saw how much life was living on this little bit of rope and it was quite tangled up on itself so it was a bit of a bowl, I thought we should probably just leave it there so the fish can have something to live on. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Everything I needed is in your eyes and in your mind Maybe it's crazy to fall so soon Give it all to you Say, please promise me you'll stay Cause I'm not going anywhere Hold me under the stars Cause what's mine could be yours If you want it Baby, show me All that you are Cause tonight I'll be yours If you want fishing just after noon and ended up back at the Gold Coast Seaway and ended up in front of Waybreak Island where we cooked up our lunch for the afternoon. There's no second guessing, I can be myself, you understand so well. Hey, yeah, hey, maybe we're crazy and passionate, how we're rushing in. They say diving in anyway, and I'm not going anywhere. So hold me under the stars, cause what's mine could be yours if you want it, baby. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. The weather was just way too nice not to be out there and enjoying it and sharing it with you guys. So I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.